guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do my passion twist tutorial. Please be sure you check out my last week's video for my heatless parting tutorial using the rubber band method. Before starting, you will need crochet passion hair, a crochet hook, some styling foam, an edge brush, some form of moisturizer for whatever you're going to use to twist your hair with, and optional, get some cute little charms. Also, a detangling brush. You see stereophonic sound for the home. So, to begin installing these passion twists, first you're going to need your crochet hook and two strands of crochet hair that you manually fluff out by running your fingers through them. The sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound. Then, stack them so the length is somewhat even and twist the middle part of the hair over your fingers a couple of times just to make it easier to hook onto the crochet hook later. Then slide crochet hook underneath your rubber band part under your hair with the latch closed and then hook the hair onto the latch, close the latch and pull the hair through. Make sure you only pull one side out. So at this point you should have two evenly length sections to split apart. Make sure you pull it tight to make sure it's secure. Then you split your natural hair evenly with the crochet hair and this is where the knotless part comes in. You simply just begin twisting tightly. Don't worry, the hair will spring back up eventually and unravel just a tad bit. I chose to do the knotless method because I'm pretty tender-headed and I had no desire to be in any form of pain. Once I got to the end of the twist, it's easily sprung back up and I proceeded to twirl the ends together. I used the Carol's Daughter Coco Cram for detangling my natural hair to ensure they'll keep my hair on the slicker side. That way my hair is easier to blend with the crochet hair. I purposely left out my edges to protect them. sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra as heard from those positions if you can tell while twisting my hair i'm also twisting my natural hair into the crochet hair before i twist it with the other piece of hair this twisting method helps to integrate my hair better with the crochet hair to create long lasting style and prevent frizz now it's finally done, 15 hours later, thank you Jesus. So let me tell you guys, my shoulders were burning so much. My traps were on fire from all the twisting of such long hair for such a long time. But I absolutely love the way it looks. It's definitely worth the time. So I actually got these little hair charms. I plan on putting them all around my hair. They're really cute. I got these off of Amazon and it came in a little container which was super convenient. So I'm quite fond of these little shell ones so I'm going to be putting these all over my hair. As well as these cute little crosses. Oh and there's a snowflake! I'm totally putting this one in my hair for Canada. Oh my gosh. So definitely putting in the snowflakes. 
and I have like gold hoops. There's some cute little leaves. And then your typical gold clips. So I'm just gonna start putting them pretty much all over randomly. sure how to put in these loopies like not sure at all so I think I'm just gonna try to thread my hair through it I used the texture by Cantu control plates to style my edges which is the same thing I used to slick down my parts in the first video. I truly enjoyed the hold it has given me and I've had no issue with it. From those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monono recording. So this is the final look. I think it looks good. It's not exactly how I thought it was going to turn out in all honesty, but I put the charms in. I think they look cute. I think I put in a little bit too many, but it's okay. First time for everything. Go a little bit overboard, right? So I still think it's fun and cute. I still think this look is fun and cute. I can't wait to redo them with smaller ones. So this time around, I did pretty chunky twists, but I am excited to do it with smaller twists on, in all honesty. Just because I feel like it'll look different on my hair and on my face. And I'm happy. Hopefully this lasts a long time. At least lasts the duration of my trip. So far, I don't feel like it's very heavy. And honestly, I feel like I didn't make them tight enough. So it's not tight on my head at all. I am not someone who likes tight things on my head. So I kind of purposely did that because I am not going to be in agony during my trip or while I'm sleeping or while I'm doing my house chores. It's just not happening. I don't do tight at all, personally. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, her hair's not tight enough. It's well with my soul, okay? It's so well with my soul, it's beyond me. Anyway, I really like this look. I think it looks so cute. My favorite part is this double, what is this? This double shell part. I love this. I think it's such a look. I think it's so adorable. So the foam that I'll be using is this Shea Moisture Curl Frizz Mousse. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a bunch of it actually. Just as much mousse as I can get really. And I'm just going to put it all over my hair essentially. Just to lock in the style. First I'm going to do my roots. And then I'm gonna do all of the hair. So, ideally, you should probably do this before you put in the charms, but I got too excited. sure I'm getting all over my head really well just because I want the style to last it took me too long to do this hairstyle for it not to last but I really like it so I just came back from the coffee shop and the barista said she liked my hair and I just felt so affirmed like oh my gosh this is my first time doing passion twist I wasn't thinking it was going that well but just shows just shows to tell you you think your hair is going really badly and then people are like it looks so good and you're like really it's my first time doing this <sighs> and I'm gonna take my Aunt Jackie's head wrap and just tie down my hair essentially 
We're just tying down the roots. I tied down my hair. I plan on doing this for sleeping and then putting the rest of it in a bonnet. I need to get a big enough bonnet though because my bonnet is too small. Now I know what it feels like to have a long flowing hair. <laughs> Not like that, but like that one, like this one. Ah! <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Uh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I also want to let you guys know that there will be a giveaway in this video. So I will be giving away the Carol Sauter Coco Creme Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter because it was one of my top 11 products of 2019 and every month I'm going to try to at least give away one of my top 11 products of 2019 for you guys. So this month is Carol Sauter Coco Creme. Let me know if you guys are going to do this look and how you would do it or how would you change it or how you plan on doing it overall because I am so curious because this is my first time doing this and I think it turned out pretty good for my first time but I know it can be better. So I would love any suggestions from you guys and don't tell me to blow my hair out because that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. I think I might just use maybe different products this time. But yeah, anyway, bye!